welcome students uh, in this session we shall see the thermodynamic relations so before going to that we shall see what is a thermodynamic uh, potential okay, thermodynamic potential is a scalar quantity which is used to represent the thermodynamic uh, state of a system so the thermodynamic potentials that are commonly used are u h f and g so this u is the internal energy and h is the enthalpy f is the helmholtz function and g is the gibbs function in thermodynamics we will be encountering the properties such as pressure volume temperature entropy internal energy enthalpy helmholtz function gibbs function out of this eight properties only this pressure volume and temperature are directly measurable so this pressure volume and temperature are only directly measurable so to find the other parameters we have to come out with a mathematical relation so that we can express this terms in terms of other available parameters uh, suppose uh, consider z is a function of x and y so this z is dependent on x as well as y so this z is a dependent variable and this x and y are called independent variable the exact differential that is d z can be written as do z by do x here do z by do y since it is dependent on x and y i am writing do z by do x plus do z by do y while taking this that is do z by do, do z by do x here y is constant and while taking do z by do y here x is constant then i have to put d x here so what are in the denominator that will be coming here similarly here d y so d z is d z is equal to do z by do x at constant y into dx plus do z by do y at constant x into d y so this d z is called as the exact differential and what is this dif uh, exact differential it is the differential of the dependent variable now we can rewrite the above equation d z is equal to instead of this do z by do x at constant y i am writing this as m 
and this term I am taking as n. So m dx plus n dy where m is equal to dou z by dou x at constant y and n is equal to dou z by dou y at constant uh, x. We know that uh, dou square z by dou x dou y is equal to dou square z by dou y dou x. So here I can write like this dou by dou x into dou z by dou y is equal to at constant x is equal to dou by dou y of dou z by dou x at constant y. Now dou z by dou y is equal to n. So from here dou z by dou y is equal to n. So I can write like this dou by dou x n of n is equal to dou by dou y of so this dou z by dou x at constant y so this term is equal to y. So instead of this term I can write m. So the final result is dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. So this is the final result. So if z is a function of x and y then the exact differential can be written as dou z by dou x at constant y into dx plus dou z by dou y at constant x into dy. This will be giving you finally dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. This uh, d z this d z is a perfect differential when this equation is satisfied this equation one is satisfied so the d z is a perfect differential when the equation one is satisfied.